Manchester United received major boost in race for Kane. According to The Mirror, via 90 minutes, Bayern Munich are reluctant to get into a bidding war for Manchester United target and Tottenham Hotspur ace Harry Kane. This would leave Manchester United as the only team to bid for Kane, who they see as a priority signing for the summer, as per the report. McTominay open to leaving Old Trafford this summer for regular football. Football Insider reports that Scott McTominay would like to leave Manchester United in the summer in search of regular minutes since he has fallen down the pecking order at Old Trafford. The 26-year-old Scotland international is reaching the peak years of his career and he wants more game time, and United are also weighing up a permanent move for Loni Marcel Savitzer. He has made 34 appearances, but played just 1,028 minutes this season. Manchester United would have to pay 50 million euros for Frimpon. According to Fischages, Manchester United will have to dish out a fee of 50 million euros for Bayer Leverkusen wingback Jeremy Frimpong in the summer. Frimpong has excelled for Bayer Leverkusen this season and Manchester United look to sign him to improve the right side of their defence. Manchester United monitoring former Arsenal goalkeeper. Manchester United are reportedly keen on signing former Arsenal shot stopper Wojciech Skesny and bring him back to the Premier League. According to Tutti Mercado the 32-year-old could be seeking a new challenge at the end of the season and with the future of David De Gea still up in the air, Skesny is being seen as a potential replacement for Eric Ten Hag if the Spaniard does leave. Manchester United plan to sign James Ward-Prowse this summer. According to a report from Football Insider, Manchester United are intrigued by the prospect of swooping James Ward-Prowse this summer, should Southampton get relegated. United coach Eric Ten Hag is determined to add reinforcements to the team's midfield for next season and believes Ward-Prowse could be both a cost-effective and quality signing. The Saints would find it difficult to keep it difficult to keep hold of their captain if they get relegated to the championship. Aston Villa and Newcastle are also interested in the player. Manchester United heavily interested in signing Kim Min Jae. According to Daily Mail, Manchester United are keen on signing Napoli centre-back Kim Min Jae and are considering triggering the 45 million euro release clause in the South Korean defender's contract. Liverpool and Spurs are also in the race for the highly rated centre-back who could be tempted by the prospect of playing in the Premier League just one year after joining from Fenerbahce. Manchester United ponder selling Jadon Sancho. According to The Sun, via Fischages, Manchester United are strongly considering selling winger Jadon Sancho with manager Eric Ten Hag disappointed with his performances. The report states that Manchester United will use the sum recuperated from his sale to buy their next lead marksman. Manchester United set to rival Chelsea for the signature of Joao Felix. According to Mundo Deportivo, Manchester United could make a fresh approach to sign Atletico Madrid winger Joao Felix this summer. The Red Devils view the Portuguese star as a potential cornerstone in Eric Ten Hag's long-term project and could look for a favorable deal from the Spanish outfit this summer. Felix, 23, has impressed on loan at Chelsea since arriving in January, despite the London outfit's abysmal form in the Premier League. And while the Blues are thought to be keen to make the deal permanent, the player himself could have doubts as they look set to miss out on European football altogether next season. Atletico spent a club record 127 million euros for Felix and could expect up to 100 million euros, a price tag which may be considered too much by some potential suitors except for United who paid a similar amount to Land Antony last summer. Manchester United inch closer to Marcus Rashford contract extension. English striker Marcus Rashford is now one step away from signing a new contract with the Red Devils, according to Spanish outlet Fischages. The 25-year-old has just one year remaining on his current deal, but is not planning to leave his boyhood club, and has virtually assured his continuity in Old Trafford despite rumors of a move away in summer in search of a new challenge.
Talks between the club and Rashford have been stalled in recent weeks, alerting the likes of Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain, both of whom are waiting in the wings to snap snatch him from the Red Devils. Spurs plot sensational De Gea swoop. According to Fishages, Tottenham are contemplating a summer move for Manchester United goalkeeper David De Gea. The Spaniard has been in the limelight in recent days after it was reported that he had rejected Manchester United's opening contract offer, but discussions are still continuing. The 32 years current deal is set to expire in the summer, meaning that he could walk away as a free agent, with Spurs are waiting in the wings to pounce if such a situation unravels as they remain in the hunt for a new number one to succeed veteran Hugo Lloris after this season. Luke Shaw to sign new four-year contract at Old Trafford Luke Shaw has agreed a contract extension at Manchester United, according to The Athletic. Shaw, 27, still had another year on his exiting deal but has been rewarded for becoming an integral first-team member under Eric Ten Hag this season. The left-back has reportedly agreed a new four-year contract. Man United in pole position to sign Wantaway Barcelona wonder kid Ansu Fati. Barcelona prodigy Ansu Fati could be on his way out of La Liga in the summer, with Manchester United reportedly in the box seat to secure his signature if extension talks stall further. That's according to Diario Sport, who says that the 20-year-old's agent Jorge Mendes has already made contact with the Red Devils to discuss the possibility of taking his client to Old Trafford. Manchester United no longer confident about signing Declan Rice. According to Football Insider, Manchester United have given up on signing West Ham midfielder and skipper Declan Rice in the summer. The report states that Manchester United believe that the English defensive midfielder is closer to joining rivals and current league leaders Arsenal than coming to Old Trafford. Manchester United keeping tabs on Mateo Kovacic. Manchester United are in the market for a midfielder and have reportedly joined the race to sign Chelsea ace, Mateo Kovacic, in the summer, according to reports in 90 Minutes. The soon-to-be 29-year-old has just over a year left on his current deal and talks over a new contract seem to have been stalled. Manchester City and Liverpool are also interested in signing the Croatian. Manchester United recognize Moussa Dembele as Marshall alternative. According to Fishages, Manchester United could make a move for Lion striker Moussa Dembele to replace out-of-favor forward Anthony Marshall. Marshall, according to the report, could return to France where he showed his best self. Dembele's contract with Lion expires in the summer with a renewal unlikely, thus making him the ideal candidate for Manchester United to replace his compatriot. Napoli asks 170 million euros for Manchester United target Osimhen. As per Calcio Mercato, via Fischages, Manchester United will have to pay a price of 170 million euros for Napoli striker Victor Osimhen if they wish to sign him in the summer. Osimhen has impressed the whole footballing world with his performances this season, scoring 25 goals in 29 games. Due to his excellent form, the report claims Napoli will only let him go to another club if they make him one of the most expensive players of all time. Man United ramp up pursuit of Monaco defender De Cesci. Manchester United are very interested in signing Monaco defender Axel De Cesci ahead of the summer transfer window as Eric Ten Hag seeks to bolster his back line this summer, according to Mail Online. While the 25-year-old's contract does not expire until June 2025, the League One club could be prepared to do business with a potential bidder if a hefty offer in the £44 million bracket is made.